Hey guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> Marley. What are you doing, Marley? You got a messy beard. Yes. <laughs> the boys said, get on and tell our viewers how miserable we've been. We've been miserable because it's been raining the past four days. Yes. Oh my goodness guys I can never film a video anymore those squirrels have been working so feverishly burying nuts in my yard that the dogs are barking constantly well and it doesn't also help that the boys have been extremely bored um, because it's been raining the past four days today it's kind of slowed up it's kind of misting and sprinkling but um Tuesday and Wednesday it was like downpours I woke up early Wednesday morning, like three in the morning, because I could not sleep. And I opened up these middle curtains. I was looking outside and it was still downpouring. I was like, what is going on? Will this rain ever stop? Will it ever stop? The boys' beards are just a mess just from getting wet constantly. <laughs> the rain, yes. Can't go outside and play hardly. Yeah, they've just been, uh, They've been uh, cooped up schnauzers. So I wanted to get on here. I got an email from the um, daughter of the previous owners of this house, uh, the one that came with her brother to check out the house Saturday um, since it's been remodeled after they sold it. I did pop on the screen um, in the last video that their father actually built this house along with a contractor friend. So his, so their dad actually built this house. Um, their grandfather owned um, a big portion of this corner here in town, which he eventually sold off. Um, but their, but their dad, so it would have been, I think it would have been their dad's dad that owned the corner. I can't remember. Um, built a house here and then the house to our, if I'm looking at the road to our left, I believe their uncle built that house. Um, yeah, so I think that was the only family. Maybe the house next to them maybe was another uncle. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... So their grandfather originally owned all this property and their dad actually built this house in 1956. So um, I wanted to read the email as long as these boys don't start barking again here. Let me find it. What are you looking for over there, Miggy? You had to find the right ball? You had to find the right ball to get and play with, huh? <laughs> Okay, here it is. And I hope she don't mind if I read this. It's nothing too personal. Just kind of share some memories um, of them growing up in the house. Um, okay, it says, Thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to visit our childhood home. The renovations are incredible. Bringing the house into this century, yet still... Uh, yet still sh show so much of the character we enjoyed growing up in the house. I trust the boys love running around the circle as much as we did as children. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. And I actually have some um, video footage. There they go. <laughs> Let's see if they come. Here, yep, here they come. Oh, yep. <laughs> They didn't do a full circle. Boys! 
Here they come. <laughs> um, I have some video footage of my son um, having them chase them. So my son loves running around the circle with the boys too. Okay. Okay. Hold on. My phone went black here. The screen went black. Okay. Um, we established many memories in the house, including bridal showers, baby showers, anniversary parties, graduations, birthday parties, and even dog birthday parties were celebrated. Isn't that awesome? I feel it, like I said, I feel like I have so much in common with their mom. She threw their, their dog's birthday parties. I haven't even done that, but she's such a animal lover just like me. Um, I mean, I do celebrate their birthdays. I get them special treats and a new toy and I take them out for an ice cream. Um, but I've never thrown a doggy birthday party. Um, she says, Christmas time was a magical event at our house. Growing up, we typically had two, if not three trees, some of which were live. One year we had a chirping bird ornament in one of our trees, which one of our dogs promptly knocked over. Yes, I could see that happening with my boys too. <laughs> yes, I could. Look at these guys. They don't know what to do with themselves because they can't run around the yard. I mean, they can right now. They just don't really prefer being out there when it's wet. <laughs> um, it says, in the late 60s, early 70s, we won a few awards for our outdoor lighting display. We were blessed to grow up in this home with the guidance of parents who loved us immensely. It helped that our mom never turned away a stray animal that we brought home despite her grumbling. <laughs> My kids did that one time too. They brought home a kitten, which we had to find a home for. Um, but they knew after that, don't bring home any more stray animals, please. <laughs> um, it says, our family spent over 60 years calling this house home. Thank you again for allowing us the opportunity to visit. Wishing your family many years of happiness in this home. Wasn't that so sweet of her to send that email? I, I got an email her back and... Um, I, I was wondering if maybe they have some photos of the house being built. I think that would be so cool to see if they have any photos. So I need to email, email her back and um, ask her. And, and I'd love to see uh, photos of their house decorated for Christmas. Um, I don't know. I just feel like such a connection to them. And when they were here um, visiting, oh my God, I have tears in my eyes, you guys. I have tears. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, it's so weird. Um... Like I said, I think I mentioned in the last video, I remember every time I would drive down this road, I would instantly look at this house, turn and look at it and my, admire it. I don't know. It, it's really weird. Um, school's getting out across the street. You can see all the cars coming out. Um, so the dogs may start barking if some kids are walking. Um, just feel like this house was supposed to be our home. And um, just hearing about their mom and some similarities and they said she was quite nosy. I'm quite nosy. <laughs> Actually, I'm very nosy when it comes to watching my neighbors and seeing what's going on around my house. Um, yeah, somebody's walking by, so they know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just so nice to, oh, what I was saying was when they were here talking, I felt like I could have been talking with someone in my own family. They were so, they reminded me of someone, like my aunt or uncle, you know, that I was talking to. Um, yeah, I may have to end the video here. <laughs> They're going to start getting loud. So, yeah, I just, I really appreciate the email and I actually, um, friend requested them both on Facebook and, um friends with them now so can keep in contact and maybe share pictures with them if we change um anything else to the house I can pass it along to them so and like I said I think I mentioned their other sister um reached out and emailed me too and she would like to maybe um in the future see the house too because she was kind of hesitant to see it changed and they said they had a brother too but sadly he passed away I think they said 10 years ago so yeah, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. I just wanted to share that email. Share how the boys have been cooped up. <laughs> Looks like the sun's actually starting to come out. It's getting a little brighter out there. 
might be able to go outside tonight and play. Um, the ground, because they're weird. Um, they like being outside, but they don't like it when the ground's wet. <laughs> I mean, they'll go out there, but they don't stay out there as long as they would um, if the ground was dry. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like the sun's trying to peek out, boys. All right, guys, I'm going to put those little clips of uh, my son playing with the boys earlier. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.